The Aztec civilization, which flourished in the 14th century until the fall of the Aztec Empire in 1519, was a society based around agriculture. Most Aztecs would spend their days working their fields or cultivating food for their great capital city of Tenochtitlan. Let's talk about it. Aztec women were responsible for cooking as for almost all domestic duties, not using oils or fats. The main method of food preparation was boiling, grilling, or steaming in two-handled clay pots or jars called sotsli. The most important Aztec staple was maize, a crop held in such high regard that it played a central part in Aztec mythology. To some of the first Europeans, the Aztec described it as precious our flesh, our bones. Maize came in a variety of color, texture, size, and quality, and was eaten as corn, tortillas, tamales, or atoli, a maize gruel. The most important fruit and vegetables were chili peppers, tomatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, and avocados. Red and green tomatoes were often mixed with chili and sauces, or as filling for tamales. The Aztecs also ate various mushrooms and fungi, including the parasitic corn moss, which grows on ears of corn, with lacoche. The main fruits consumed were guavas, papayas, coaster apples, sapotes, mamey, and chirimoyas. The most common Aztec drinks were atole and pulque, a fermenting juice of maguey, the century plant, which was the main drink of commoners. The rich made a point to not to drink pulque. Atole accounted for a considerable amount of the daily calorie intake. Made of about 8 parts water and 6 parts maize with lime, the mixture will be cooked until softened and thickened. The cocoa bean was highly treasured and of high symbolic value in the Aztec Empire. In some cases, it was used as a currency. Cocoa was a rare luxury favored by rulers, warriors, and nobles. It was commonly drunk as cacahuatl, cacao water, flavored with chili peppers, honey, vanilla, and species and herbs. Although cocoa was introduced to Europe in the early 16th century by Christopher Columbus, it was not until Hernán Cortés substituted sugar for spices that it became a commercial success. The word chocolate comes from the Aztec word chocolate. Since it was easier to grow crops than hunt, the Aztec diet was primarily plant-based and focused on a few major foods. Most Aztecs ate twice a day, the first after a few hours of morning working, and the second during the hottest hour of the day, at around 3 o'clock. As we learned today, maize, beans, salt, and chili peppers were the concept of Aztec cuisine, providing the average Aztec with a well-rounded diet without major differences in vitamins and minerals. That's it children, let's talk about it in mid. See you there.